What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We just got back from iDrive. If you guys haven't seen the most recent video, you guys need to go check it out. We got a lot going on today and we're starting off today freaking winning, baby. That's all I'm saying. I got the JTX shirt on. Shout out Chris from JTX, but KG1 center caps. Finally, finally got our center caps. Hold on one second. Hey, Southern Tire McDonough, this is Alex. How can I help you? Hey, uh, hi, Miss I think most of y'all forget that I actually do work up here 10 hours a day. Most people don't think I really work here. I've waited for quite some time for these center caps, and I'm beyond excited to finally get them. Shout out to Andy from KG1. I'm a super patient person. I'm not like an impatient person. Bro, what you doing behind me over there? Why did John give me this dull ass knife? All right, I need this. You ready? You ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? Ain't even the same room. You don't think so? No. Yeah. Look, what's that say on the front? Bread gang cap, buddy. Yeah, it was one, it was one particular. Uh, Eight months later. Model. <laughs> I forgot what the brand was called on it. It was like 20 of Spectrum or something like that. But... Well, if you're willing to give him another shot, I'll, I'll get him. Fire! Come on now. Come on now. With the spin though, six months. Mike, fire. Wednesday's perfect. Yeah. What uh, what year is the vehicle? Same color. Second one of you open, guys. Oh, that was the test. Oh, 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 get them, oh. Away. them exactly. things fire. We got to put those on the truck today. Shout out to uh, I'm pretty sure it was BCC Zach that did the powder coat on these. So. Awesome. Sounds good. It's the same color. Deal. Thank you. Oh, this one's darker. Same color. Come on, get out of here, trash. Get out of here. Hey, we got the center. Shout out to Andy from KG1 and Fury. Shout out Josh. You guys always take care of me. Let's get this bread, baby. Five hundred mile retorque on one of my favorite trucks that we have built recently. Twenty twenty one Denali fifteen hundred with a nine inch chrome FTS lift. FTS offers the front chrome cross member, which is freaking beautiful. And one of the first ones that we've done like this, we got a twenty eight by fourteen KG one spreader with a thirty seven fourteen fifty twenty eight Fury MT one. The twenty eight by fourteen and thirty sevens allows you to still run that nine inch lift and do the same amount of trimming as a twenty six fourteen and a thirty seven, except you get a twenty eight. And in my opinion, this is going to be or what I would hope to be a new wave or new style of build that we're gonna do at the shop. I think you guys really need to start stepping it up and doing the 28s because like I said, it allows you to keep the same size, same profile or just same trimming, all the same fitment, but you're doing a 28 by 14 instead of 26 by 14. So let me know what you guys think. I got a set here at the shop that I can sell you guys cheap. You guys are wanting to do something similar to this and it's a set of KG1s as well. And these got the floating center caps is just kind of stuck there. So floating center cap on these looks really good too. John. Alex, I didn't say what's up. Nice to meet you. Sorry, nice to meet you, man. I'm still trying to wake up this morning. To be honest Fire. with you, yeah, I got back. I got back uh, late from Orlando on Sunday. And I'm still catching up, and I'm going to Miami this weekend. So, takes me till about lunchtime to wake up most days. From New Mexico, this one's gonna be cool. 26s and a nine-inch chrome FTS. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a customer do a burnout when they when they show up to drop the truck off before. This is a shout out to Michael Estes with the it's almost like a rose gold colored McGoy's kit. You guys have probably seen this one on the channel with the 2616s. This one, comparatively speaking, he's got a nine, I think his is actually like seven or eight inches on this one, but with 35s. So I think sitting side by side with nine inch and 38s, yours will be sitting about the same size. Now this one's obviously up on jacks, so it'll be a little bit, a little bit bigger now, but 2500s are just a little bit bigger in general, but size like height wise, yours will end up being about the same. So that's gonna look. I, doing 38s on these now has, has definitely become the uh, the standard in my opinion. 38s just look a lot better. Cut a little bit more, but it 
definitely worth it in the end, in my opinion. Our 2023 Denali over here is getting a four inch ready lift. Some 22 by 12, some nittos. You said it's nice? Look at this. Got that peanut butter. Ooh. I don't like the shifter on the console though. It's the only thing I don't like about it. But... You don't like her having a little cock? I don't, no. I don't. You I like... leave that in there and not bleep me out? Yeah, I won't bleep you out this time. I do like the, the wheels on these though. These are nice. Four inch ready lift, 22 by 12 and 33 is a little bit of trimming. Then we got our nine inch FTS getting 26s and 38s over here. Should be a good day. I wish I would have known this and I would have filmed it a little bit more while I was at the shop, but Mr. Roderick had his truck brought to us from Albany, Georgia. You guys know I'm always trying to show love to you guys in the videos that come from out of town. And it's, I feel like it's as genuine as possible, especially because I film it when they're standing right in front of me, right? Brought his truck all the way from Albany. We put a new lift kit on it. A little seven inch Cognito. Cognito has one of the nicer lift kits. It's up there with Magoys and FTS, and it's a great alternative to the Magoys and FTS on all of your GM stuff. I don't think Cognito really makes anything for the Fords and Rams, but when you're doing so or independent front suspension on any of the GM 15, 25, or 3500s, like we did a big 12 inch Cognito on a truck back last year that looked really good. It was a red lift kit. Cognito does powder coat their stuff from Cognito, so you can order it with a different color powder coat on it from Cognito, which is really cool. FTS is one of the only companies, only other companies that does that but we got him hooked up with a seven inch cognito with the upper control arms and fox shocks all the way around like i said i had no idea that he was a fan of the channel and brought the truck up here because of it or i would have filmed more of it so shout out to roger for bringing the truck to us and i hope you enjoy your new lift kit jake's gonna hate me for this one but why does my nine inch on 36s look a little bit taller than his 10 inch on 38s that's all i'm saying we'll see if jake actually watches the videos if he catches that we got a new truck in today we're finishing up our nine inch chrome fts kit from the gentleman from new mexico for the gentleman from new mexico today we got another nine inch mcgoys and some 26s getting some kg ones and some 38 inch furies another opportunity to do a mcgoys versus fts now i don't think this one will be done at the same time so we won't get a side by side but you will get a mcgoys versus fts in the same video comparison that really nice black and milled or black with the billet accent mcgoys kit versus the in my opinion the best way to do an fts kit which is the chrome front cross member you will get a comparison between the two in the same video which is always cool so stay tuned for the end of the video we're working on our two trucks outside Side. I wanted to wait till a little bit later in the video to do this. I've been waiting on this for a little while. I'm kind of excited. Got a package in the mail. I do have some uh, some products coming in the mail now. The I did order this one again. I'm not gonna lie. I did order this one. But I did have somebody reach out to me last night on Instagram and ask me how they could send stuff to the shop. So people are about to start sending stuff to the shop so we can do unboxings in the videos, which is really cool. Um, I do want to give a huge shout out to Los Chicos. Freaking the gang down there. I've known them guys forever. I started my channel with them. And I just, uh, I love all those guys, Daniel and Dolph. Everybody down there has been nothing but love the whole time. And I love y'all. So I wanted to show some love to y'all and support the gang. And I got a shirt. No, this is not a sponsored. I just, I wanted to show love is what it was. So we got the Grand Theft Auto, the gang shirt, Los Chicos. Who we got on there? We got Single Cab Brad. We got Dolph, Weibo, and Daniel. Freaking gang. Los Chicos on the front. Grand Theft Auto on the back. You know, I had to get the one that shows the whole. I wanted to get the shirt that shows everybody, not just one of them. And, you know, me and, uh, me and Daniel got the same truck. So shout out to Los Chicos. I'm going to be rocking this this weekend in Miami. I go inside for five minutes and y'all don't y'all don't kill three boxes of pizza and y'all left the bad one <laughs> ain't no way man what's going on in here i walked outside i said ain't no way y'all killed three boxes of pizza already well we killed one oh, look. Look. that's all right <laughs> you're fired <laughs>
One of the cool things about working up here at the shop is we get, we get customers that understand that we like to try new things and experiment and do things that not a lot of other people have done. And something in the industry that I think a lot of people have questions about is the Denali Ultimate. The Denali Ultimate comes with the Super Cruise or like the auto drive feature and it kind of stops you from being able to put lift kits or bigger leveling kits, lift kit suspension, modify the suspension in any way that's going to mess with that. And a lot of companies like Rough Country, you know, Ready Lift, FTS, McGoys, all these companies are not wanting to make lift kits for them. So I've got somebody that I deal with at Ready Lift and they said that they've had a couple customers that have put on this four inch Ready Lift on these Denali Ultimates. And now he didn't tell me 100% that it wouldn't work but he said that they've done some and it hasn't caused any problems. So today at Southern Tire, we've done our first Denali 1500 Ultimate with the Super Cruise or Blue Cruise, whatever you want to call it, and it drives no problem. Got a 22 by 12 works wheel, the beautiful red. I do really like the little bit of concaved lip on the edge. I think that has a really nice look to it. Did some 33, 1250, 22 nittos on a four inch ready lift. Upper control arm, it's essentially a strut spacer with upper control arms, do a little bit of trimming in the back, a little bit of trimming in the front. The red wheels turned out beautiful with the black Denali. And it's got the, the Super Cruise on it. So for any of you that, I mean, I'm not gonna make this whole video about this one thing, but any of you that ever have questions about the, the Ultimates, we can put lift kits on them. Now, I've never done a nine inch, I've never done a six inch or anything bigger, but I can at least confirm that the four inch ready lift for now works after test driving it a little bit. There's no lights or anything on on the dash. So as of right now, it works. on the black truck today we gotta put lights on it tomorrow and put the wheels and tires on it test drive it trim it get that one out of here so this one will be done tomorrow just needs lights bolt the wheels and tires on it got the lift kit on it love that McGoy's kit wheels and tires mounted up all right Bill by John Bill by John Put that thing away, there's kids in the neighborhood back there. <laughs> this one's gotta get test driven and retort tomorrow and then this one will be out of here. It's our gentleman from New Mexico. That one turned out pretty good, didn't it? Are y'all done fighting now? Y'all were fighting earlier. I won though. What kind of fight were y'all doing? I got money on you. Me, were y'all fighting earlier? A little bit. A little bit, who won? Well, they never got physical. And I don't win the, the verbal fight, so. Did you want it to? Put second? Yes. <laughs> One more nine inch McGoys before we end the video off today. He's a fan of the channel, so we're gonna document the process for him today. Nine inch McGoys, the black premium kit. Getting some uh, black and red scorpion wheels and some venoms today. A little black and red wheel action in the day off. Can't complain. Any day that I get to do a nine inch McGoy's kit. So that's two nine inch McGoy's versus the one FTS in this video. So all I'm saying, McGoy's is up one right now. 66%. Now it's 5%. My camera's about to die. We didn't build this at the shop. It's a 2020, 2500 Denali. All white, it's freaking beautiful. With the nine inch McGoy's kit. You know anything on the McGoy's kit is gonna get filmed up here at the shop. 26 by 16 KG1s. I don't even know what wheel this is, to be honest with you. The white floating center caps. Is it white? It looks white. I think it's white, yeah it is, 100%. 35, 15, 50s on a 26 by 16 is a goaded setup for sure. Oh look, we got the white 2500 and the white 1500 next to each other, I didn't even think about it. Idiot. Easiest ways for you guys to tell if you like the McGoys or the FTS better. Chrome FTS. Black McGoys. Why can't I get a Chrome McGoys kit up here or something? You know what I mean? The easiest way for you guys to be able to see the difference between the Chrome FTS and the black with the billet accent McGoys. So this is, we didn't build this one, like I said. 2020, 2500, white, Denali, 2500, 2616, quadro wheel. It looks just like we built it, to be honest. When, it, when he pulled in, I thought it was another customer of ours. I really don't know what wheel this is, but the 35, 15, 50 Venom and the 2616 KG1s are freaking. KG1 Javelin, I'd full send it. Javelin, we're going Javelin today. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Custom powder coated white. 
I didn't even ask this customer if we could film it, but it's here. You know what I mean? It's almost like you pull up in my yard, I'm drinking your beer, right? <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> you pull up in my shop, I'm filming your shit. <laughs> anyway, we did build this one. 2020, uh, what are we going with today? 2022? It's 21, I think. It's, uh, it's 22 today. 2022 Denali 1500 with the 6.2. This gentleman is all the way from New Mexico. This is the longest drive, longest driven customer, longest traveled ch customer, customer, customer that we've had ever at the shop. This New Mexico is on the west side of Arizona, right? Where's my is my geography right? So this one would be farther. So nine inch all chrome. No, no, I think lift. Phoenix. I think I think uh, Arizona's one state over further. Is it? Think about the four corners: Utah, Colorado. Are you sure? Arizona, New Mexico. Is New Mexico next to Texas? Yeah. I'm wrong. What if I'm wrong though? Hey, I've been wrong. I'm wrong a lot. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. Anyways, from New Mexico, I don't care. That's a long, long trip. That's all I'm saying. Nine inch chrome FTS kit. Hey, well, look at my Los Chico shirt that I got on today. Shout out to the gang, Los Chico GTA shirt. That ass back there, you know what I mean? Sorry, that was, that was weird. Anyway, nine inch all chrome FTS lift is freaking beautiful. This is one of my favorite lift kits to put on a truck other than the McGoy's kit. You can't beat having a really nice shiny chrome lift kit on your truck. It's like having a Rolex or it's like having a really nice diamond chain on, you know what I mean? You got the Rolex, you got the chain, you got the, the chrome wheels, the chrome lift kit, it just matches. You know what else you got? What? The exhaust leak. The exhaust leak. The box truck coming by. <laughs> 26 by 14 Orcon. What are these, the Alexander? Alexandria? The Caesar? I think it's the Caesar. I don't know. I think it's the Caesar. <laughs> I'm such an idiot sometimes about these. We do this all the time. Our, there Couple are boneheads you know up here. I mean? 2614. We do have a 38, 1350, 26 Fury. I love the Furies on these trucks. What's this tire called again? Furry. Are you sure? Fury. <laughs> furry Fury. Country Hunter. The Furry Country Hunter. Furry, furry Country Hunter. <laughs> we got the, the matching chrome box bars in the front, box compression struts. And then we got the chrome rear traction bars as well. You gotta have the chrome traction bars. It's such a, like I said, it's like having a chain and a nice watch on at the same time. They all match together. And we hooked my guy up with a set of uh, Quadro Infinite wheel lights. Infinite has the best warranties. That's One last thing so though. Much. And the rock lights too. One more piece of chrome. Oh, is it the trailer hitch? Mm -hmm. Really? I hadn't seen the hitch. That's cool actually. B B &W hitch. Look, come here, look, 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 look. For proof, even though it's tinted, the guy's illegal out here. New Mexico, USA. For all you haters out there. You can see the... Uh, for all you haters in the comments. You can see the sand on the truck. It's so cool. He, he showed up with his kids the other day and his kids were running through the bushes. They'd never seen bushes before. Got a little sand on there. We appreciate you guys from coming from so far away. It's it still just kind of blows my mind, to be honest. We've got Albany this week. The guy, the lift kit that's in there, he's from out of town. And then we got New Mexico today, so... It's freaking cool. Let me know what you guys think of the truck in the comments. The McGoy's kit should be getting finished up pretty soon. Something we don't see too often up here at the shop. We got a fucking mint, mint zero turn John Deere tractor out here. The lawnmower out here. Is it here. squatted? Squatted, yeah. FTS came out with a, uh, with a rear drop kit for the John Deere. You see how it's got that little lean to the left to it? See, see what I'm talking about? A little lean to the left. Squatted boy's gonna be hating on us in the comments. FTS, it's got it's got that new drop down perch, like a, it's almost like you're a, an idiot. Let's almost, go inside. It's almost like a lift <laughs> shackle, but it goes on the on the bottom and the rear, so it drops the. You know what I mean? All the builds like this that we do that come from so far away, I try and make a moment of it. John drove all the way from New Mexico to build this truck, and we're super grateful for it. And I just want to say that in front of John that I, I appreciate you coming through and allowing us to build such a, uh, see how that worked? That could have been so awkward, sorry. That's just off topic. I appreciate you coming from so far away and uh, spending your time and your money with us and trusting us. I just in front of YouTube in the world. I just want to say thank you. Well, I want to say thank you. thanks to you guys. I really appreciate keeping my stuff for so long, and doing everything I needed, everything I asked for, and then some. So I'm um, really, 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 my family really appreciate it. My, my favorite saying is anything for you. Um, and I do want to give a shout out to the guys in the shop, Leonard and Mikey, and the rest of the guys back there. Would be nothing without them. Uh, speedy install, clean install, correct install, safe install. Another one in and out. We got another McGoy's kit. We got another two McGoy's kits getting done today for you guys to see. But like I said, I just want to give a huge shout out to John and his family for coming through and spending time with us. We love you till the end of time. Let's get this bread, baby.
get lifted in this size. The third time? I would say. Is it? Scale of one to 10, this is my favorite truck. I, actually, I got a call today from a guy from, I think, New Jersey. You don't have to make things up for the channel. I'm not. He called me from somewhere like New England. Somewhere New England area, the guy called me, and he found the video of Alex Williams' truck that we did, and he wants to build that exact truck, the TIS wheels and everything. So I get what you're saying, how it seems like. I mean, this is the best style of truck that I feel like we've done so it makes sense that we would do a bunch of them but i do also see the point of wanting to try new things so something get, special about this one though i get what you're saying 2614 kg1 tried it we always talk about how we feel like this wheel's overplayed but seeing it on a truck because we haven't done it in a while i actually do really like the wheel 37 14 26 fury love the furies even though i don't have them yet but my time will come nine inch mcgoy's kit best lift kit on the on on the planet you know the vibe got a winch on it you just don't see that as much did that come stock on the truck? No. Oh. Rough country. Nice. It's not bad, though. I mean, it doesn't even look that, like, outrageous. No, I've seen some that are, that are rough. This one's not bad, actually. So, you got your 9-inch McGoy's, 26-14s, 37s. We did a set of infinite off-road rock lights. Great warranties. Love them. Infinite off-road wheel lights. Great warranty. Great customer service. Love them over there. Black and Chrome is a super easy, safe setup to do. And it looks great, in my opinion. Dropped off yesterday, in and out in two days. Did a little trimming up front, a little trimming in the back. Always kits really nice with the billet accent pieces. It's one of those examples of uh, doing maybe two or three things to a truck, but coming out super clean. Good example that you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money or do 15 million different things, customize every little piece of the truck to make it look good. I think this one's clean and simple. It's got the blacked out badges on it. It's got blacked out tint, really dark tint on the front windshield. Steps even don't look bad on the side of it because it's in steps. Black door handles, black trim around the truck. Color match to the front. It's a really nice looking truck. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys like the white one that we did earlier with the FTS? Or are you a fan of the McGoys on the black truck? Drop a comment below, let me know. you in the video oh, shit, man. I, know you're I, I had to come on when do you ever bring that you don't ever bring the truck up here you never come up here and see us I, I, hey i had to throw my boy rose gold in the video you know that's my dog right there it's dirty, man. what it's always dirty hey, you're damn right. hey it still looks good though <laughs> hey jay ford ain't got no truck anymore so uh, yeah. mr number one now yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, you need to change your Instagram to Mr. Number One, not Mr. Rose Gold. Just, just to mess with him. Yeah. With Jay Ford? He don't even have a truck anymore. He's lame. He's lame. Hey, y'all, so me, me, and, me and Alvin built this, built this Rose Gold truck a couple years ago, and we had a big uh, debate between Jake and Jay Ford of whether or not this truck was better than Jay Ford's old truck. Any of the OGs to the channel remember the uh, number one versus number two debate that we had, so I've always been Team Rose Gold. That's all I'm saying. All right. And it's for sale. And it's for sale. So if y'all want to buy it, let me know. Hit, yeah, bang, bang my line. Bang my line. Call me at the shop. It's for sale. And we got Vic's truck still hanging out up here. What? I got you. I got you. It looks good. Oh, God. That scared me. We finished up the other McGoys today. We got a 35, 15, 50, 22, 22, 14s on this 2013 Chevy. Ooh, look, a little red bow tie, a little red tow hook action with that. Ooh, with that McGoys kit down there. That thing looking. That thing's looking saucy up there. A little black and red, Scorpion off-road. I love the McGoy's kit. Love the McGoy's kit. And we're gonna finish off today with the dang chrome FTS. Look, another chrome FTS up here. Now, we didn't build this truck, but this one's freaking beautiful. Chrome, red, and white on the 2500. It's clean. I'm leaving for Miami tonight after work, so you guys need to tap in, hit subscribe, wait for the next video. It's gonna be an absolute crazy time in Miami this weekend. I love you guys. Let's get this bread. This is bread baby. That's what I'm talking about.